last time I brought you out there, I think we were hanging up some cages out there. And I'll show you what we've done since then. Okay. Action. Okay, here we are back outside. Uh, this is marble. See the big, see the nice big cages we've been hanging up? Now, when I last put this up, I told you that I was going to find some way to at least temporarily put a roof over, which is good because it's, today's a rainy overcast day. It rained all night. But as you can see, you look in there and you see Marble's hay. And Marble, she's all nice and dry. This is what I did. <laughs> this is not intended to be a permanent solution, but it works pretty good. Uh, and what I did was I took some, these are two by twos that were, came off of pallets that were, they were packing. And I kind of made a, a teepee out of the plastic. I twisted this and stapled it on. This is, uh, this is actually a drop cloth plastic for painting. It came in like a 10 foot by 50 foot roll and I just cut off what I needed and put it up there. And it's working just fine. The only thing about this is, I mean, they're blocked to the south. But if we have real windy storms and what have you, and the wind goes to whipping around these buildings, it's going to rip this to shreds and we'll have to redo it or something. This is not a permanent solution. But as you can see, it's keeping them nice and dry, okay? I'll show you marble, but just to let you know, marble is a little hand shy, okay? And sometimes, sometimes she will... Uh, She's not really much of a biter, although she did nip Dana once after we first brought her home, the day we brought her home. But I think since then, it's just she's gotten used to us. I think it's just because we were new, because she hasn't really made any attempt to bite anybody since then. But I'm not going to give her the opportunity to either. Uh, but she will kind of, at times, she will slap and lunge with her front paws. And just to protect myself just in case because I'm not very fast if she was to try to bite me I probably couldn't get out of her way quick enough so I use a glove on one hand and I'll show you I don't have a clip out here so see see what she did and I'm gonna try to move this see see she's not she don't like me moving her hair in see She's just kind of hand shy. It's my hand, and, and it's moving this hay a lot of times too. And I see I, if I reach at her, and I see she was okay with that. See? And now I could probably take off the glove, and I could probably reach in there with my hand and pick her up. But I'm going to move her over here a little bit closer to where I can get my other hand in here because I, I hate grabbing them by the scruff, but my arms are not long enough, and these cages are so far from front to back here oops okay yeah there's marble hey baby girl and once she's out of the cage she's just fine she's just as lovable as can be she cut she comes in at night sometimes and sits on my lap on the couch and watches tv with me uh, well which they all take their turn there's several of them of course i guess i guess it's hard to have to keep from having favorites because some rabbits come in and cuddle and watch TV with us more often than others, but we love them all. That doesn't, you know, it's just it's just one of those. There's just not enough hours in the day for you to, you know, spend time with all of them as much as you like. But we just we're trying to gentle her down. One thing, but she's once she's out of the cage, she's just so sweet and lovable. You know, you just can't. You just can't get tired of her. Uh, I can put her back in this cage and I can reach in there and I can pet her all I want. But once I close this cage and open it back up again and go to reach in again, it's kind of like I hit a reset button when I close and latch this door. Then when I reach in there again, she's probably, there's a chance she's going to slap at me. Now, eventually, I think, I think it won't be a problem. I won't even need to keep the glove up here no more. But something about moving this hay around, I think she thinks that I'm, I think she feels threatened maybe by it, like, like that hay's coming at her when we're moving it around or something, or it's just the motion of our hand when we rake it up to the side like that. I don't know. Um, I've been around rabbits a long time, but I don't have it all figured out. 
but uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, she's expecting. Uh, she should be, I think, about 10 days, 10 days, something like that along. And uh, 